Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident. That is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. Let's see if she can do for Women's bantamweight champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound for pound fighters, man or woman, on this roster and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. the date for this women's bantamweight championship fight here once more is bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Meatball Molly McCann. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Champion of the world, Joanne Jojo Long! All right, Herb Dean, our referee Wait, for this one, just about Wait. to get underway. All right, so here's Joanne Wood with her husband, John Wood, former entrenched in her corner. It's amazing to think about where Scotland's Joanne Wood was a couple of years ago when Valentina Shevchenko had to pull out of their title fight hasn't been able to get back to the top of the heap. But a lot of fans believe this matchup to be favorable. Wood should have a decided striking advantage. And if she can produce a knockout here tonight, that would certainly raise eyebrows with Dana White and the promoters and the matchmakers. Perhaps that would be enough for Wood to cut the lines. Nice shot to the body. Now these two women separate from the clinch. All right, there's that leg kick she told us in the fighter meeting. Those would be on the menu, and she goes through it early in this one. Well, she understands that the boxer has a wide split stance because she wants to get forward with the jab. But every time she throws the jab, she opens herself up to the leg kick, and she's taking advantage of it. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. So more output, at least in the early going. That was great head movement. Oh, great block there. Nice crack there. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. 
But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Take down defenses there. Great job getting to her position, right into that single collar time. Try to establish that jab. Inside leg kick lands. She got that single collar tie. And she separates from her opponent. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Well, she's so confident in her. <laughs> This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for now. Well, pretty good recovery by her. Oh! Good shot going on right here. Fantastic fight by both of these women. High-level striking, great cardio, great fight. Not there. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Molly McCann. So she's holding on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Straight to the body by Meatball Molly. Punch. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets straight by her there, I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing it. That was so good. Nice strike. That's a good jab by her there. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, she is in real trouble. Oh, nice jab. Five seconds remain in the round. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets long. Oh, right, it's a mount. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Meatball Mount. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom. Oh, looks like she's working on a triangle here, DC. Her opponent, not the tap and tight, but she could be submitted here short. She could be submitted. If you don't want to tap, you're going to sleep. Right. Because it doesn't take that long for that triangle to really be sunk in and put you out and shut your lights off. And that is exactly what it looks like about to happen. All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round. She absorbed a whole lot of damage, and now she's dealing with a cut that candidly above the eye could be in a much better location for This is her. a bad place, J.A. The blood is leaking down her face. She looks a bit dejected. She looks concerned because she is getting pieced up by her opponent. And now, to top it off, there's a cut right over the top of her eye. She is in a lot of trouble, Andy. Yeah, and we got the best cut men and women in the world, but I'm not sure there's anything that they're going to be able to do to completely stop the bleeding. Let's get to the next round. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, she just ate another strike right on that eye. You don't want to take too many more. Oh, she is hurting for so much. Oh, crippling lead of the body. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, elbow landed there. Oh, look at that. 
just unable to quite find that range. Woods able to protect the eye there with that block, so that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard and prevent further damage on that cut. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now you see it. The game plan, everything's clear now, and we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down the finish. Wood's hook shot is blocked. I saw that coming from a mile away. McCann's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Oh, nice inside kick. Takedown defense holds up. Seemed like she wanted out of the clinch there. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's it's an overwhelming feeling being in there with her when she's fighting at this level. When everything's working. Oh, oh she's got to keep pressing now. Combinations here. Oh. Oh, with a thorn. There, DC, the seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it had her opponent hurt bad. Oh! Woods really bleeding heavily now. You gotta think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. She landed. Oh, another one. Two minutes now to go round two. Back and forth we go. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Really nice job blocking that shot. Maybe seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now and try to find that kill shot that's going to finish tonight. Under a minute to go. Nice job offensively as the strike. Oh, she's hurt, yep. Oh. Back to the feet. Lands a big elbow there. Woods lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. being thrown on both sides. McCann's shot there is blocked. Molly McCann goes in for the takedown now, and she gets it. Wise move from the fighter there, because she was getting tagged on the feet. in the exact spot that she needed to. All right, that is it for that round, and Wood's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, so the fight will continue, and as they attend to the fighter, we will get you some replays of all the damage she sustained in that previous round. Well, her opponent looked like the best fighter in the world. That is partly due to her not being good on the defensive side. It seems as though she came in here with an idea Ready. that she would be able to tough it Ready. out. Now she's dealing with this horrible cut. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Huge shot by her there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in the weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. 
Woods an absolute mess right now. This fight might actually get stopped by the ringside physician due to that. Court. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Back and forth we go. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got a shot. Well, her reactions are really starting to change now as her opponent continues to pepper the bottom. They're big. Tonight, let's see if she goes back to it. What an absolute war on a napkin in the center of the octagon. These women continue to stand and trade, and really, both of them have landed at will all night. They both have landed. Neither has shown the best defense, but it makes for a real good fight. They're battered, they're bruised, they're cut, they're beat up. But we are looking at one of the best fights we have seen in a long time. Takedown defense holds up. Gotta think she's gonna go hard in the middle. Two minutes have gone by. Nice job by her there to block that shot. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. I kind of feel like her corner's getting ready. Oh, that'll do it! Oh. What a turn of events here inside this arena. An absolutely crazy flush knockout, and there's going to be no wiping that smile off her face tonight. She's going to be smiling all the way to the bank after a knockout like that. What a performance, what a knockout, unbelievable. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes. 31 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Meatball Molly All right, well, DC, I got to give you credit. You sort of foresaw this result tonight. We have a new UFC Bantamweight champion.